the shipping officer. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall. Captain. Wolf, Lawrence, and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. It is imperative we stop those ships. The outcome of the war is Make good use of your own mortars, ship. It will prove crucial if we are to succeed. Fire quickly, sir! Do not put the estimate! Fire! Dear God, fire ships! Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet! We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir! It's the Experto Pedder! At one. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Fire! 
I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. Mortals would prove most advantageous right now. Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Blue Zone, let's move! Stutzel's out! There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. War dropped too, though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Gist, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Gist. Aye, sir. Save some for later. <laughs> <laughs> 